now to beat the Aztecs tonight. It's homecoming in San Diego. Mm -hmm. And Bob Average with Wyoming comes something unique to our area, and that is the wishbone offense. Yes, it is. It's unique because you don't see it in the WAC that often, and there's very few teams that have the talent and the uh, patience to run an offense like that. All right. Now, is there any kind of a magical key for defense, such as San Diego State, to stop the wishbone? Well, the key is basically you have to stop the inside run with the fullback. Then you can adjust with your linebackers and corners to stop the outside run, the pitch, or the quarterback. All right. And that quarterback is Phil Davis. He's a senior, and he's a good one. He's been around for better than three years. One of the total offense leaders in the Western Athletic Conference. Aztecs are four and three coming into tonight's game, and the conference are two and three. Wyoming, one of the four leaders going into this weekend. They are six and two overall, and they are five and one in the WAC. So they need a win. The Aztecs loses a three in a row. Definitely need a win to stop that skid. And we'll be back with the Doug Scoble Show right after this. Is brought to you by Coca-Cola, Not All Cyrus and by New Corp Corporation. And now, here is Coach Doug Scovel and Ron Rena. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Doug Scovel Show. I'm Ron Rena, along with the head coach, Doug Scovel. The Aztecs getting ready to meet the University of Wyoming Cowboys, a team that's very much in the race. A Western Athletic Conference competition run for the Holiday Bowl this year. All right, Doug Scovel coming off the loss of Utah, a very heartbreaking loss. Now you have to kind of change, well, for one thing, defensively, Get ready for a wishbone. Does that present problems for your defense? Well, it always does uh, when you only meet it once a year, but uh, I feel confident because Bernie Miller and Cole Proctor and Steve Schaefer have all had experience defensing it, and uh, that, that means a lot. I, I think we can do a good job defensing it. Okay, going into the game, your week of preparation, a couple of things. You said you'd lighten up the practice a little bit, make it uh, interesting for the kids, and you install the shotgun, and uh, tell us about the thinking behind that. Well, the main purpose in that run, really, a lot of people think it's to give Matt more time. Well, really, it's to, to help the line more than anything else because people have been using so many stunts against our pass offense that it gives them a chance to drop off further. And by doing that, they're not right in Matt's face because he's set back further and he has more depth on his drop. So that, I think, will help us. All right, yes, that's made a few changes in the offensive line. Also got some bigger people in there. So we'll find out how that pans out as the Aztecs meet the Wyoming Cowboys. And we'll be back for the first half kickoff right after this. All right, San Diego State did not win the coin toss. Hence, the Aztecs will kick off as you see Dave Meyer approaching the ball in the deep. Darnell Clash, one of the dangerous kickoff returners in the country. At the 5, 10, 15, 20, hit at the 21-yard line, and that's all. This special team Yes, it was. Ramage, number 83, three third linebacker was down there making a good play. The secret to playing somebody got like Ramage is to stay in your lane. You can't go to the ball. You have a certain lane you stay in. You go there and you stay that way, and that way there's no seams for him to break it. He's very quick and explosive. There you see the Wyoming Cowboys huddling Bill Davis, their quarterback, directing the attack. His running back, so 33, Peter Rule, 44, Walter Goffigan, and 39, Dane Ingram, the wishbone as they set the tight end, James Williams. Strong left. There's the full house back to the O's. First down, Davis himself. 25, 30, 35. There he goes. Bill Davis, Mr. Everything, and a flag right off the bat. He takes the ball to the 40-yard line, going 18 yards. He's a dandy, Bill Davis, the senior. Let's take a look at it again. Bill's the key to the wishbone offense. They say he may be the best wishbone quarterback in the United States. Now you're talking about kids from Alabama and Oklahoma. So he has a lot of talent. He has great speed. But what makes him even more dangerous is he's got a good arm. He's completing over 50% of his passes this year. Cowboys coached by Al Kincaid. His first year he met his offensive coordinator a year ago and had died. Robert. He remained as the head man. He changed his coach three years ago. And athletic director. It is a penalty against San Diego State. That's an uh, added yardage. 15 yards, tacked down the Aztecs, the late hit, personal foul, takes the football to 45 of San Diego State, so on first down, not too bad. Ball the Cowboys, who is one of the four leaders in the WAC. They need this one tonight. All four leaders this weekend on the road. BYU has already won, so is Hawaii. Utah tied. First down, Davis. Gives the second man through, that's Rule. Peter, a 5'11 sophomore out of Ramsey, New Jersey, to the right side, down to the 40 side. It's up ended, uh, Aztecs defensive line. Backer Todd Seaball also in there, along with the Brad Williams. When you were mentioning earlier that Kincaid is the third coach in three years at Wyoming, it's amazing that he's able to put the team together to have a 6-2 record at this point of the season. Usually a new coach coming in 
a lot of changes, a lot of personnel moves, a lot of different philosophies. He's done a remarkable job with this ball club. Second down, five, Cowboys. Now in motion goes Ingram to the left. And Davis makes the handoff, pitches back to the short side of the field to Peter Rule. Rule trying to sweep out the right side, bumped out of bounds by Todd Seaball. Dave Crudup coming up from the cornerback position. Shy of the first down as he goes to the 36-yard line for what will be a four-yard pickup. Aztecs with the same group defensively. Across the front, Brad Williams, Mike Vance, Steve Allman. Linebackers, Todd Seaball on the outside. Inside, Allendale, Bill Fairbrother. Jerome Franey also on the outside. As it's now third and one for the Cowboys. Davis hands off to Rule. Rule has the first down and more as he banks down to the 30. Rule forward to the 29 yard where Mike Fox makes the hit. Coming up from the safety position. Fox and Alvin Bush teaming up the safeties. There it is again. Takes it to the fullback, gives it to the second back through. It's just straight one-on-one -on -one blocking. And the key to a good wishbone offense is the center of the line. It's your two guards, your tackle, and your fullback. Those are the people that make your wishbone, along with a good wishbone quarterback such as Davis. So it'll be interesting to see the battle in the line between the two guards and the defensive lineman of San Diego State. Williams, the tight end, sets up to the right side. And again, this time straight ahead. It comes to Ingram. Ingram, small hole up the middle, and he squirts through it quickly down across the 25 to the 22 yard line. As the Wyoming Cowboys moving the football. They have young running backs. Ingram is only 5'9", a freshman. Rule, 5'11", a sophomore. Goffigan is 5'10", a sophomore. Seven yard pickup, second down three. Cowboys averaging 290 yards a game on the ground. 415 yards a game total offense. And they're averaging 35 points a game. All right, quick pitch comes out to Rule. Rule on the right side, bangs across the 20, down to the 16-yard line. Peter Rule, and that's another first down for Wyoming. Good block, Gary Crum, the right guard. The offensive line, good size. They have Jesse Hauser, 6'3", 285. Dan Little, 6'3", 246. Joe DiGiorgio, 6'7", 244. Guard Crum is 6'5", 278. Right tackle is Joe Ramuno, 6'3", 240. First and 10 Cowboys. He has to 16. Davis on the option. Hit behind the line of scrimmage and drop. So the Aztecs trying to sink through. Yes, got him. Right, they're doing some planning. They're bringing the tackles down. Uh, they're bringing the linebackers, scraping off to the outside. Anything to disrupt the blocking. We were talking about the offensive linemen. Uh, they have a young man, number 77, Gary Crum, who's 6'5", 278 pounds. He's a senior. They say the pro scouts are drilling over this man. He's had a tremendous season. He's a great one-on-one -on -one blocker. And uh, he's probably the best offensive lineman they have. Second down, 10, Cowboys. And Davis back to pass for the first time tonight. Pressure throws into the end zone, and it is intercepted. And they're going to say intercepted right at the one-yard line. Was that Mike Fox? It looked like Mike Fox. So the Aztecs in the scoreless ball game take the football offensively, and we'll be back. As we pick up the action, the Wyoming Cowboys have the ball. Cowboys are two for two in third down conversions tonight, facing here a third and ten. Martinez split ends, it's out wide to the right. Ooh, Ingram in motion. Rolls left, back to pass. Has time now, pressure delivers, and it's caught by Martinez. Tony Cooney fumbles, and the Aztecs have recovered. Alvin Bush. It's good to see Alvin back in the lineup after breaking that hand last week up in Utah. Coming up with a big play. Good play action pass. Phil Davis back. He's going across the middle to Martinez, who's just coming back. He's had some knee problems. He's been out the last two weeks. Good tackle by Crudup, just stripping in the ball. And here comes Alvin Bush picking it up. Another break by the Aztecs. So Wyoming, one of the best in the country for not having a lot of turnovers. But they had one here, uh, interception, and now a fumble. So the Aztecs take over. Much better field position. 20-yard line and line up in the I formation on first down. Get it, get it, get it. Copeland under center on first down. Makes the draw. Back to pass. He's going long for Darius Durham. The catch might get it at the 40. Durham with a one-on-one -on -one with cornerback Darnell Flash. Darian, as you see, looks to the skies. Ball thrown a little bit over his uh, left shoulder. Just a little. That's a hard pass to catch. Especially if you're looking for it over the right shoulder. Matt lets it fly. Darn it. Darnell Clash was beating. Darius was looking for it to come over the right side and came over the left. Looked like there was a little face mask when he was falling there, but uh, 
against the officials. Eyes didn't see it, and that's all that counts. Second down, 10. Aztecs, no score. 8.56 to play, first quarter. Second down, 10. Split back this time to the Aztecs. Blitz is on, but he delivers out the flat. It is caught nicely. Tight end, Jim Botrow. Tipped by Mike Davis of safety, but good reaction by Botrow. And the Aztecs get a pass to completion and a first down. Number 18. It's a straight drop back pass for Matt, and he whips it out. Here comes Mike Davis, who incidentally is the twin brother of the quarterback, Phil Davis. Good concentration by Botrow, watching the ball and reacting back to it. First down, Aztecs. So the Aztecs get their first first down and their first pass completion. Now the football at the 34 yard line with Phil Smith comes out wide. Field. He is hauled off the ground but hung onto the ball. John Sally to safety, Mike Davis. Bill Smith a happy man as he gives a high five to Bull Williams. Again, just a drop back pass. Matt drills it in there. Good concentration by Phil. He knows he's going to get hit in the middle. Belly picking it up, throwing him down, but he held onto the ball. Good concentration. A tough place to catch the ball in the middle, especially when you know when you're going to get it. Bill Smith, 6'3", junior from Compton. Aztecs in Wyoming territory for the first time that I at the 49 of the Cowboys. Pitch and a reverse to Smith, but he's in trouble. Gets away from one would-be tackler. Trying to get back to the line of scrimmage. Cannot do so as the Cowboys were able to adjust and defensively make the hit at the 50-yard line. Notably outside uh, the, the linebacker Bill McCarthy. A green Colorado, a 6'4 freshman. Matt Coper threw a good block at number 73, Charlie Patterson. He was the cowboy in the backfield there. Matt made the block enabling uh, Phil Smith to pick up, or to lose two yards instead of seven or eight. The Aztecs trying to show a little fancy work. So they have a scoreless first period. San Diego State now looking at a second down at 12 on their own 49-yard line. Shotgun, first time this year. Coper to pass. Looks long. Downfield, Durham is open. Got it to 15, the 10, to the five-yard line. Quarterback Lee Mitchell. Looks as though they were on one-on-one -on -one coverage, and Darius doesn't have that blazing speed, the 4-3, 4-4 speed that you would see, but he's been able to get open. The shotgun that the Aztecs are using today is something that they feel that in certain situations, like on third and long and direct passing situations, would help Melt get away from the blitzing linebackers. So there you see the Aztecs inside the five-yard line, first and goal to go at the Wyoming three and a half. Roberts and Bull Williams are the setbacks. On first and goal, Kopler rolls left, looks to the end zone, fires to Jessup, intercepted. Darnell Clash picks it up. Well, Matt lofted that just a little too easily. He didn't, I think if he had a little more on it, it might have got to the receiver, but Clash made a fine play. Good fake rollout. And right here, he throws right off his heels. It wasn't set. Clash making a great interception. That's John Jessup was all by himself. It was a very fine play. So Cowboys turn the Aztecs away. We'll be back right after this. And Davis, the quarterback, on the option. Tries to find some money room, but the Aztecs string it out nicely and haul him down. Good job, penetration from the outside. That's Todd Seaball. And coming in for the hit, Allen Dale. Pick up a one yard to the 21-yard line. Doug Reed checks in at defensive line, replacing Brad Williams. Second down, nine. Kofler on the interception. That's the little time this year. Bill Davis sets his club, senior quarterback, on second down, nine. Takes the handoff. Short side of the field. On the option, keeps it himself. Cuts in. And there, Jerome Craney makes the hit, and Alan Dale comes over as the Aztec linebackers. Trying to shut down that wishbone option offense of the Wyoming yards. Cowboys. Pick up to the 24-yard line. Three-yard gain, third down six coming up. One thing about the Wyoming Cowboys talking to Bernie Miller, the defensive coordinator for the Aztecs, is that when they run into the sidelines, it'll either be the quarterback keeping the ball or it'll be a quick pitch. They won't run any option stuff. Martinez sets out wide to the right on third down six from the right hash mark. Ingram in motion left. Davis rolls left to pass. Sets up. Has time. Delivers. Williams, the tight end. Missed. 
and then gets to the 29-yard line where he's hit down, which will be short of first down yarding. There are flags down. James Williams, the tight end out of Syracuse, New York, a 6'2 junior. Semi-roll. He was coming back. There's a little holding there. Oh, boy, yes, it was. It was right tackle Joe Ramuno on our replay against Brad Williams. Two inside linebackers, Alan Dale and Bill Fairbrother. Aztec have the option now, pushing the Cowboys back via the penalty or declining it and bringing up a fourth down. It's a tough situation. I might decline the penalty. There's about two yards to go, and I don't think this early in the ballgame, Wyoming would be willing to go on fourth and two. Mike Fox looking over to the bench, asking for the new direction. See the referee. Looking for a little direction also. Well, apparently the Aztecs will take, take it. At the distance of the goal line. So the Aztecs coach will decide to take the penalty and I guess play for field position. Apparently that's what figured that Wyoming's not that strong of a passing team and they probably don't figure they could pick up the uh, 20 yards for the first down. So the football moved back to the nine yard line. So it'll be third down. All the, all the way to the 30. So it's third and 20. To the wide right. Now it goes in motion left. Davis rolls left on a draw play. Goes to Rule. Rule 2015, 20, 21 yard line. He picks up 10, maybe 11 yards. That's all. Way short of first down yardage. Just a good safe call. They don't want to put the ball up in there and turn it around. The draw play figuring the Aztecs will be either blitzing or they will be dropping back in his own coverage so they won't be able to get the long pass anyway. Punning situation for the Cowboys. Now they on Jack Wheel. Jack Walk on. He's a sophomore. He's a dandy. He's averaging 41 yards a punt from his own 10. Puts this one away. A high short kick. Roberts will let it bound at midfield. Takes a Cowboy bounce. Roberts wisely lets it roll. Risking the fumble. No way. It goes dead. The 31 yard line for what is only a 48 yard kick. So the Aztecs in the scoreless ball game take the football offensively and we'll be back right after this. The belt offered Wyoming. As we pick up the action, Aztecs have the ball. He's looking at a second and ten now. Smith comes out wide to the left, Durham to the right. And in the shotgun there, you see Coker between his running backs. It's a good snap from the ball. He's back to pass. Blitz is on, but he's got time and delivers. Complete to Durham at the 38 of Wyoming. Nice pass, Matt Coker to Darius Durham, the junior from Bolsa Grandy High School. Lee Mitchell making the tackle. On the Steve Nice Wonder, a linebacker dropping back. First down, Aztecs. We see a shot of Darius, number 88. Matt dropping straight back. It's about a 19-yard turn in. Darius turns in there. Matt drills the ball. It's right on the money. Hits it right between that cornerback and the linebacker in the zone. Aztec coach Jeff feels that Mitchell is the weakest of all the four defensive backs of the Cowboys. The corners are playing soft now, about 70 yards off the line of scrimmage on first down. Wall. Four Williams. Not much running room. He makes something out of it, though, as he bangs it across the 35, down to the 33 yard line. Our outside linebacker Jimmy Leopolis makes the tackle. Leopolis, senior, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Bull Williams puts a good fake on 73 Patterson. He thought he was going to go outside. Patterson goes out and Bull Williams cut back in. There was a nice hole there. It was a nice run. Bull's getting stronger and stronger each game in the running department. He's starting to get a feel for it. He's been, uh, last three games, been running the ball very well. That's a six yard game. Second down, four Cowboys with a three man rush now. So they're short. Line of scrimmage. Well, that changed the play at line of scrimmage on the second down. Takes a handoff. He keeps it himself. Cuts in at the 30. Trying to get outside for some running room to the 26-yard line. There he is all down and has a first down. John Sally, a safety making the stop on Matt Kofler. The bootleg. Bocho, number 80, gives him the block on number 66. Joe Cruzina, open it up, and that slides in for the first down. That's a dangerous play if you don't get that blocked by that tight end. The quarterback picks up a defensive end that's just a little bigger and a little stronger than the quarterback. There you saw John Jessup coming in with a play. Matt Copeland looks at the scoreboard, which shows no time left in the first quarter, and that'll do it for the opening period. We got a 0-0 ball game at San Diego Stadium. We'll be back with second quarter action right after this. Quarter action this period brought to you in part by Budweiser. Remember, Aztec fans, this Bud's for you. And by Ball Old Honda, Mile of Cars in National City. No score. 
Aztecs looking at a first and 10 at the Cowboy 26 yard line. They show slot formation right. Long setback as Bull Williams. Copeland back to pass. Looks up, Dale fires long for Durham overthrown at the goal line. Darius got one on one coverage with safety Mike Davis. Overthrown. Pass will bring up a second half pass. Wyoming Cowboys, their 6 2 record, beat Fullerton State, lost to Oklahoma 37 20 at Norman. The Air Force Academy, Nevada, Las Vegas, lost to Hawaii. The UTEP, BYU, and last week beat Colorado State 55 21. Second half at San Diego State. Both are back to pass game. Blitz is on. It is picked up as he delivers over the middle. Durham has it at the 19 yard line, then hit down immediately. As Darius. Flipped over the middle, Darnell Clash, the cornerback, and Mike Davis teaming up. Darnell Junior Darius Durham for what will be a pickup of eight yards, seven yards. The Essex now looking at a third and three. And that's staying in the pocket a little more. He's used to the blitz now. He's seen it about the last four weeks. See Darius coming across the middle and just drops it right in there. Good read by Matt. He's starting to pick up the blitzes a little more at the line of scrimmage, and now he's calling some audibles. He's getting, getting, being able to pick up his wide receivers, his secondary receivers, not basically his primary receivers. On third down, Kofler will pass again. Blitz one more time, but he delivers, and it is intercepted by Wyoming's Mike Davis at the 40, and at the 50, finally hauled down by Bill Smith at the Aztec 45. We do have a flag on the play, Ron. I don't know if it's against the Aztecs holding or there was a uh, defensive holding call on the one of the Cowboy defensive backs. He pumped the first time and threw it again. Davis just made an excellent move on the ball, knocked it out of both throws' hand. Takes off downfield. It's open field. I don't think anybody knew what was going on for a while. Everybody hesitated at the line of scrimmage. Well, preliminary call is illegal procedure against the Aztecs, so Cowboys obviously will decline the penalty. And hence, Kofler intercepted for the second time tonight. Illegal procedure. They've been moving the ball, but he's, they've had two interceptions that stopped them. Well, in the first quarter, the Aztecs moved the ball for 98 yards passing, 15 rushing for 113 yards, the Cowboys 98, so you're right. So, we'll take a break. First and 10, Wyoming in a scoreless ball game. And Phil Davis back to pass, delivers Martinez at the 35, 34, and haul down. Vernon Dean making the stop, and I would say fine move by Martinez, which it was. He's an excellent receiver. Vernon Dean, though, did slip on the play, and that hurt his coverage of outstanding wide receiver Steve Martinez, who's from Los Angeles. But he's their best wide receiver. He doesn't have the great speed, but he has good moves, good hands. He looks the ball in. Then looks for running room secondary. It was a good play because they faked that wishbone dive into the play and then come up throwing. First and 10, Cowboys. The Aztec 35-yard line. Davis pitch back to Rule, trying to sweep. He's got running room at the 35. Mike Fox misses him, but hauled down at the 29-yard line. Number 33, Peter Rule. By Bill Fairbrother. And that'll be a pickup of five yards for Rule and the Cowboys. Calvin Bush forced pretty strongly from his... Uh, Strong safety position, but just missed a tackle. He just got bumped, knocked out of the way. The thing that's amazing about Wyoming is you figure they they control the ball so much, they have a lot of running plays, but they've only turned it over eight, uh, nine times in eight games this year. Second down, five, Cowboys. Bill Davis, senior quarterback, out of the wish ball. And it's a rule again. He's got the first down of more as he bangs across the 50, uh, 25 down to the 21 yard line. It'll be a pick of a six yards, first down. Quarterback Dave Crudup making the stop. Number 50, Bill the Aztecs have had their chances on the Utah yeah. game a week ago. They've been deep in Wyoming territory twice, come up empty. Bill Davis in passing is two for five for 28 yards. He's been intercepted once. Has his club now with the first and 10 of the Aztec 21 yard line. Davis, uh, hands off straight ahead. Fullback Doug Moore. Check that Dean Ingram. Ingram. Moves to the, about the 17-yard line. The handoff to number 38. Get there by Jeff Doug Moore, Moore. nose guard. Tackle by number 50, Bill Fairbrother. Pick up on a play of three yards. Eight, three yards seven, seven, and seven Cowboys. Played two and a half minutes, the second quarter. Scornis is taking a look at Martinez. He lines up wide left. Tight end Williams sets up strong right to the short side of the field. Cowboys. Handoff. Rule hit the backfield. Breaks the tackle and gets about a yard or so. Nice running by Rule, but 
Brad Williams was there, hit him right in the back though. Nice play. Shut it down. One thing I've noticed about Wyoming, they're not your normal wishbone team. They do a lot of motion. They send a tight end. They run it back out of the motion. A, a dead set wishbone team. So with that, the Cowboys take a timeout. We will too. Six at the Aztec 17-yard line. Bill Davis rolls back to pass. Looks for Martinez in the end zone. He's all open. Touchdown, Wyoming. As Vernon Dean slipped and fell and was no contest. Well, that wasn't even a good pass. It was just floated up there. Vernon Dean would not have slipped. I'm sure he'd been able to come back and probably even just pick it back up. Semi-roll by Davis. He just lost the ball. See, it's just like a wounded duck just floating out there. Vernon fell down. I'm sure he could have been able to close and either batted the ball down or maybe gotten the sixth interception of the season. Our quarterback, Phil Davis, that is his ninth touchdown pass of the year. And the Cowboys going front, six to nothing. On to try the extra point. Steve Tobin is 27 of 30 this season. See Martinez, the kick is on its way. And Tobin converts. The Cowboys going front by a score of seven to nothing after the pass interception of Mike Davis set him up. So Wyoming leads San Diego State seven to nothing. 11:59 to play in the half. So Tobin, the kickoff now for Wyoming. High end over end kick at the five yard line. Donnie Robert, Mike Fox making it. 20, 25, breaks it, goes to the 30, then he fumbles, and it looks like Wyoming has recovered. Mike had a good running lane there. He accelerates right through here. There he goes. He's carrying the ball a little loosely. He just changed his hand there and got hit from behind, and the ball just pops out. Picked up by the Cowboys. Troy Robinson makes the recovery. So, three turnovers by the Aztecs, two by Wyoming. And here are the Cowboys on offense at the Aztec 35-yard line. First and 10. Davis rolls left to pass. Wants to go for the touchdown again. It does to Martinez. Knocked down by Darrell Hall, who's in at cornerback now for Vernon Dean. And Darrell, who's played from scrimmage very little this year, senior from Long Beach, with a nice play going one-on-one -on -one with Martinez. Watching Martinez all the way. Darrell Hall closes very nicely on the ball and bats it down at the last second. Good coverage by Darrell. Darrell blocked two kicks. We could go at Utah. Starting cornerback two seasons ago. Richard of last year. Davis is three for seven passing for 45 yards. Second down, 10, Cowboys. Davis straight ahead, handoff, running free at the 25-yard line to the 24. Tackled by safety Mike Fox. The running back was Doug Moore, the fullback, a 5'9 junior out of Lincoln, Nebraska. That's 11 yards in a first down. Pick up 10 yards. Frankly, I don't know why the Cowboys pass. They get all the yardage they need running the ball. They try to diversify their attack, give the opponent something else to work on besides just stopping the wishbone. First and ten, Cowboys. Davis, long count, line of scrimmage. On the option, he's back to pass again. Looking upfield, wants to throw to a back and does. Ingram out of the backfield. Hit down, though, by linebacker Bill Fairbrother at the 20-yard line. It will be a four-yard game. So just... They've been throwing the ball about 17 times a game. And I guess when you have a talented quarterback that can throw the balls, you don't find too many option quarterbacks that are good passers. Most of them are uh, the quick, they get quick hands for the pitch and they turn it, turn it up field real quickly. And Davis has the, a decent arm. He doesn't have a real strong arm, but he's able to throw the ball and it gives him an added dimension. Second down, six, Cowboys. Davis straight ahead, and off. Goes to a fullback, Doug Moore. Moore pounds to the 16 yard line. Well, he has to stack him. Hand off to number 34, Alex Kanowitz. Going to be about two yards short of first down yardage. Stop at number 93, Mike Vance. So now third down and about three to go for the Wyoming Cowboys. They lead it seven to nothing. We got 10 to six to play. Doug Moore, Doug Moore, the ball carrier. First half of play. Five turnovers already by the two clubs. On third down, Davis keeps it himself on the option, pitches it back to running back Kevin Lowell. Lowell skirts the right side, plus the 15 and the 14 yard line, close to first down yardage. Back on the number 53, Todd Seaball, 
He may be a little short, Ron. Dave Crotop come up, made a nice tackle from his uh, cornerback spot. Either going to be right on it or he's going to be short by a few inches. Shamar will have to move the chains right about a foot in front of him. It'll be all right, but it is a first down. down. Just by the nose of the football. So Davis and company keep the drive alive. They try to take advantage of the fumble by at San Diego State. It's a Wyoming first down. The Aztec 14 yard line. Aztecs go to Nevada, Las Vegas next week, and then two weeks. Now we'll be back home, final home game, Texas El Paso. Emery sits out wide to the left. Davis on first down. Handoff goes straight ahead to pullback Doug Moore. And on the dive play, Doug takes it down to the 13-yard line. And there is an Aztec player down, injured. Make that the nine-yard line. A five-yard advance. Slowly, John Brainy, linebacker. That'll be a tough loss because he's been, just been outstanding the last three weeks. So while Brainy goes off the field, we'll take a break. 7-0 Wyoming Cowboys. Good penetration, but he's elusive. Bill Davis finally hauled down by Alan Dale at the four-yard line. Put a good move on cornerback Darrell Hall when he was sweeping. Slipped to the inside and picked up a few extra yards. They had a defense pretty well, but Davis made something out of it. They pick up a five-yard. So football resting at the four-yard line where it'll be third and one for Wyoming. They alternate their wide receivers with plays. That's Emery and Martinez. Emery and Mouse, it's a wide to the right. Full house backfield on third and short. Davis gives to the fullback, Doug Moore, and he pounds to the three, maybe to the two-yard line. Doug Reed, out of the pile for San Diego State. That's a first down for the Cowboys. Drop by number 51, Alan Dale. Back, Doug Moore. 5'9 junior gives a pet on the back of the lap to his right guard, Gary Crum, a 6'5, 278 pound super. Wallace, Wyoming. They call him Beef. Now I know why they call him Beef. That's your life. So, first and goal to go, Cowboys at the Aztec, three yard line. Davis goes to the right, halfback, in for a touchdown, Dane Ingram. Just a lead play. They're sending the fullback and the left halfback in there, and Ingram following both of those. Just dives over from about the one-yard line for a touchdown. He dove over Daryl Hall, number 49. So the Cowboys go in front now, 13 to nothing, taking advantage of turnovers as they've scored both touchdowns as a direct result of Aztec turnovers. One an interception, the other a fumble. Now Tobin on to try the extra point. It's on its way, and it is good. So with that, the Wyoming Cowboys jump on top of the Aztecs by a score of 14 to nothing. We have 8 10 left to play in the first half. Let's return to the play. First and 10, San Diego State. Shotgun offense on first down. Over back to pass. Pressure steps up, trying to run it. And Whale breaks a tackle, 35. At the 30-yard line, necktied and brought down. As Matt ran away from pressure, Mike Davis and Reggie Fowler making the stop for the Cowboys of Wyoming. Gopher looked to be in deep trouble. Got some yardage out of it. He reads a good pass rush. He doesn't see any of his receivers open. He's going to take off instead of getting sacked. Instead of turning a 10-yard loss, he turns it into a six-yard gain. It's a good effort by Matt. There you see him getting bulldogged down by number three, Mike Davis. Aztecs have had the ball for four minutes. We're inside of four minutes and a half. Aztecs trying to get some points on the board before halftime. They're looking at a second down and four at the Cowboy 30. Open field. Open pass on second down. Now dumps it off. Complete Durham. 25, 20, and goes all the way down to the 15 of Wyoming. There he is, Durham. Stopped by Chuck Pagano and John Sally. Very effective pattern. They just run everybody deep. Durham just sort of trots down and then breaks across the middle, takes all the defenders back, and he's wide open. It's a good effort. They run three wide receivers, or two receivers and a running back. They run them deep, forces that zone to stretch out a little, and then they bring the wide receiver across the middle. Durham with four catches tonight for 87 yards. First and 10, San Diego State at the Wyoming 15-yard line. They've been down here before. On first down. Such a long count. No snap. Now, Matt, no flags. 
There was movement. Boy, Neutral. interesting. And so Matt calls timeout. Very interesting. He came away from center, which is normally a uh, legal procedure. Well, the Aztecs lucky there. Wyoming coaches were curious, but it's first and ten Aztecs at the 15-yard line. Copler is to Bull Williams trying to get outside, being chased, hit, can't get away, and finally is hit. Pushed backwards. The Cowboys did a good job of wrapping up the ball. He could not get outside. He loses yardage. Joel Prezina made the initial hit, and then Lee Mitchell, the cornerback, wrapped him up. You see Prezina coming off the block right here. He just beats his man, and there's no place for Kerry to run. That's a good effort, though. He tried to get away. Mitchell comes in and wraps him up again. It's kind of hard to run when the man is sitting there waiting for you. So the Aztecs lose three. And they have now a second down at 13. Durham to the left. Bill Smith to the right. Jerry Williams sets up in a wing to the left. Hopefully on second down. Back to pass. Cox's his arm. Fakes now pressured. Hit. And going to be dropped for a loss. Back in the 27-yard line. Good defensive play by linebacker Steve Nicewanger. The linebacker came shooting through. And nobody picked him up. Matt wanted to dump it off right here real quick. He wants to hit the tight end, but he was covered. He had to get out of that pocket, and here comes Nice Longer, 46, from his middle linebacker spot blitzing. Awesome of course, Davis, with the strong safety also. blitz also, yes. That's the third time Copler's been sacked tonight. Another loss. So it's third and 22, and the clock is moving. A minute 45 to go. The Aztecs have to get going. They trail 14 to nothing. Wolfler will put it up. Matt fires, completes it at the 20-yard line. That is John Jessup down to the 12. So he makes up some of the yardage lost as Jimmy Leopolis makes the stop. They still do not have a first down. Clock continues to move with a minute 24 to go. Aztecs have fourth down and decide to bring on Dave Meyer to try to kick a field goal and get some points out of it. See Jessup coming across the middle. He's one-on-one -on -one with Leopolis, the linebacker. Kid had a great game last week. He had six sacks against Colorado State. That's a career for some people. He had them all in one game. He's a dandy. He was a walk-on. He walked on as a tight end after being Wyoming's high school athlete of the year. So Meyer to try the field goal from the 20. It'll be a 30-yard kick on its way. And it is wide to the right, they say. Aztecs thought it was good. Kicked it well, but just barely missed to the right. So a mid-season slump for kicker Dave Meyer misses that field goal. Aztecs turned away. Cowboys get the ball with 53 seconds to go. It's still leading 14-0. It's frustrating for an offense. They had the ball for 10, 11 plays. They moved it well. Got the clock down and then missed the field goal, an opportunity to score it. It sort of takes a lot of pep out of you. It gives you a little down feeling. But they'll bounce back. The Aztecs are always in a ball game because of the explosive offense they have. All right, first down is the 24, Wyoming. There's 53 seconds remaining in the half. Bill Davis, inside hand, off it goes to Rule. Peter takes it across the 20 to the 22-yard line. It's wrapped up there. Wyoming won't do anything fancy now. It'll just either be a dive play or a draw play like on that. They've got a 14-point lead. They don't want to turn the ball over here with only 37 seconds left in the half. The Aztecs just had the ball for seven minutes and 12 seconds on a 12-play drive. It came up empty. That hurt. 27 seconds to play. Cowboys on top, 14-0. They have a second down and eight. Quarterback Bill Davis under center. With rule in motion. Davis handoff straight ahead. Fullback Walter Goff again. Wrapped up by Jerome Freeney at the 25-yard line. Ball carrier, number 44. It'll be a three-yard pickup. Bring up a third and five for the Wyoming Cowboys. To the Seven seconds line. to play as the Cowboys take a timeout. They have had the coaches over the years. Rich Shermer and Sunderland. Seems like a good stepping stone because Dye and Akers got good jobs out of it. Dye went to Auburn and Akers went down to Texas. So... It is that, a good stepping stone. Third and five Cowboys with seven seconds short of the clock. Go back to Davis. Long count. Trying nothing fancy. Straight ahead and up. Right halfback Dane Ingram, who's popped. By San Diego State's Todd Seaball. The Aztecs take a timeout. I think they're going to rush the punter and try to get a blocked punt and a quick score well, here. Number 44, Walter Goff again. So, three seconds they remaining. Cowboys will punt the football. 
Wheeler has a couple of 25 yard punts this game. Standing now at the 15. In front of the background, uh, the noise is for the entertainment by the chicken. So the chicken is here. We're chasing the Wyoming cheerleaders. That takes half a block on, but he gets it away. High soft floater waiting for Gary Nobles at the 35. Trying to find some running room. There's none. The Cowboys have him in. That'll do it. 37-yard punt. End of the first half of play. So the Wyoming Cowboys lead the San Diego State Aztecs by a score of 14 to nothing at intermission. We'll be back right after this. It is halftime, and the score is 14 to nothing. Wyoming leads San Diego State. Doug, first drive for the Cowboys. Boy, they just moved the ball right down there and then threw the pass that was intercepted at the goal line. Fine play by Vernon Dean. Yeah, Vernon had good position on him, and he kind of looped the ball up, and uh, Vernon took it over completely. Is it tough for defensive backs and cornerbacks, especially against a wishbone where they keep the option, keep banging in there, and then all of a sudden drop back and throw to where well, you there's might... no question. That's what makes the passing game going. They're the opposite of us. They, they run to pass where we pass to run. All right, then the other token, the other side, the Aztecs then go down and uh, have a great pass to Darius Derman, and boom, the interception on the pass for Jessup. That's right. It was a beautiful pass. We had it set up. We'd worked on that one all week, and then uh, to get down to the four or five and then give it right back to them, uh, Turnovers this game just really, really hurt us. Boy, turnovers are the killer. As you notice, there were some in that first half. All right, it's 14 0 Wyoming. We'll be back with the Doug Scoville Show right after this. All right, 14 0 is the score. Wyoming leads San Diego State at the half. Doug, going into the second half now, uh, are you thinking in terms of maybe running the ball a little more? Because you had had some success, specifically with the Bull Williams in the first half. Or did you still want to just come all out and throw? Well, we wanted to throw mainly because we knew we could throw against them. There was no doubt in our minds, either offense or defense, that we could win the ball game and at halftime. I think the players and coaches all felt very positive, and we came out with a lot of fire. We were ready to go uh, run or pass, and we felt, you know, we'd run when the opportunity was presented, but felt that we could throw the ball against this group. Yeah, 14 to nothing, so you don't feel you're out of the game. Right, and we felt that we were tightening up and stopping the bone, too. Okay, do you say anything to your team or do any of the coaches say, okay, because they're kicking to us, let's get a good kickoff return and we need to get back into this thing? Mm -hmm. Very definitely, but there was no question. I think I don't think we've ever had a better feeling coming out. We really were positive and all the coaches and players together and, and we really felt we were going to win that football game, even though we should have probably come off at halftime with no less than a tie and probably been ahead except for our own mistakes. All right, so the Aztecs are very much alive in this football game as they come out for the second half kickoff. Watch it. You're going to enjoy it. We'll be back with that right after this. Miles. Half of action. Tobin kicks off for Wyoming. Waiting the ball. Phil Smith at the goal line for the Aztecs. Back up to the 5. 10. 15. Finding a hole. Gets it. 20. 25. Great second. Chase hit. Luck out of the 50. Took the words out of my mouth. I said the Aztecs need a good run back to start the second half, and they got it out of Phil Smith. Lee Mitchell with a saving tackle. Good 50-yard return. Phil sees a little hone. He has that 4-4 speed, and he just takes up right through there. So you can see accelerating. Mitchell running him down. The only reason he did that is he had the angle. But a good 50-yard return by Phil Smith. The Aztecs start the second half, trailing 14 to nothing, but with excellent field position right at midfield. First and 10. The high formation. Kofler under center, Matt Long. And quick pitch, Donnie Roberts on to through to the left side. Donnie gets a block, turns the corner, gets about four yards and goes to the 46 there. Reggie Fowler, outside linebacker, makes the stop for the Wyoming Cowboys. Reggie Fowler's got an interesting story for Wyoming. He is a six-month senior from Tucson, Arizona, who has played four positions in four years at Wyoming, both offensively and defensively, and already has been accepted at two different law schools. Four-yard gain, second down on the long five for the Aztecs. And a half-yard pickup. Go for the pass. Dumps it out. And dumps it out poorly, I might add, to running back Will Williams. Come out of the backfield as the Wyoming showed blitz, and the Aztecs wanted to circle it back out of there. I just wanted to dump it off and let him run for four or five yards. Matt seeing the blitz trying to get rid of the ball in a hurry, and he just let it go just a little too soon. This period of action brought to you in part by Budweiser. Fast Tech fans, for all you do, this butt's for you. And by... Ball old 
Lance Honda on the model cars in National City. Out of the shotgun, Kopler puts it up. Has a man open, completes it. Clinton Sampson, the 32-yard line. First down, San Diego State. Cornerback Lee Mitchell. Sampson running, putting a good move on here. He's just running straight down the field like he's going to run a post pattern. And he breaks it to the outside. Beats Mitchell pretty bad. He's wide open. Good route. Matt throwing the ball right on the numbers. Well, Aztecs had maximum protection that time. Both backs stayed in. Blocking outside the linebackers. First down, Aztecs. The Cowboy, 33. Again, the wishbone. Or rather, the shotgun. Low snap, and Kofler picks it up and delivers. Wide open, Darius Durham takes it in. Bumped out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Right in front of quarterback Lee Mitchell, so they are working on him. Working on Mitchell on the same, basically the same type of pattern. That's one of the bad things about the shotgun. Puts a lot of pressure on your center. It's a bad snap. Matt picking it up fine. Just a quick out. I shouldn't say a quick out, about a 15-yard out. Matt drilling the ball, playing shortstop, getting it off, off of the ground. That does put a lot of pressure on center Matt Long, a 6'2 junior out of Ventura. First and 10, San Diego State at the Wyoming. 19-yard line. I'll bring to the right hash mark. Yeah, Bull Williams bangs off left tackle. Across the 15, down to the 14-yard line. Boy, he really got off quickly. John Sally making the stop. Safety. First half, Bull ran seven times for 31 yards. Picks up five yards. Second down, five. Darius has caught five passes for 102 yards tonight. He sets out wide right. Sampson wide left. Second and five. Kofler makes the handoff. Rolls right. Had a man open now. Fires to the end zone. Durham all open, but overthrows him. He was open earlier, but Matt couldn't see him. He waited and tried to throw the ball. I think he was throwing it away more than he was trying to complete the ball. He didn't want to get, give up the interception down there. And Matt already has been picked off twice in this football game. So the incomplete pass will bring up a third and five for San Diego State, who approaches now seventh play of this drive. 14-0, Wyoming leads it on homecoming at San Diego Stadium. Aztecs go to a slot formation, slot left. Bull Williams, the lone setback. Kofler will put it up again. Blitz is on, but he delivers out there. Complete John Jessup, tight end, inside the 10-yard line. Pushed back, but if they give him forward progress, it should be a first down. As John Sally and Lee Mitchell teaming up on tight end John Jessup. Matt dropping straight back. It's just a little slant out to the tight end. He goes down and breaks to the outside. He's trying to run toward the flag so that he can pick up the first down, and I believe he did. It's important for the Aztecs to score in this drive. This is going to get him back in the ball game and give the offense a little confidence. They have been moving the ball between the 20s, but once they get inside the 20s, they've been having a few problems, not only tonight, but in the previous weeks. First and goal at the eight-yard line. Kofler on first down. Long count, back to pass. Quickly into the end zone. Durham, you can't hold it. Going one-on-one -on -one with Darnell Clash, who has an interception earlier tonight. Incomplete pass. They scored twice on that play against Utah a week ago. It's a good pass play against man-to-man -man coverage. You're going to get a lot of it inside the 15 to 10-yard line. And the basic thing for the quarterback is just to loft it up there and let the wide receiver run underneath it. Darian just couldn't control the ball. Boy, the Aztecs years ago used to do that a lot with Jesse Freitas and Isaac Curtis. Kofler, 12 for 23 passing. He's in the shotgun now on second down goal at the eight-yard line. Matt takes a look. Fires into the end zone. Phil Smith, touchdown Aztecs. Second touchdown uh, pass of the season for Phil Smith as he beat cornerback Lee Mitchell. One-on-one, -on -one. he puts a good move on him. He is wide open. He took him to the inside, broke to the outside. Ball is right on target. Bob Babbage called it. The Aztecs needed a score, and they got it. A touchdown pass for Matt Kofler. That's his 12th of the year. So the Aztecs now make it a 14-6 ball game, and we got a penalty. Wipes out the touchdown. Holding. Oh, boy. That hurts. It was a penalty flag on the play, ladies and gentlemen. 
Where was it? I never saw it. Did you, Ron? I didn't see it, but the official indicated holding. There's the walk-off. Oh, boy. But it hasn't been easy for the Aztecs the last three weeks. So scratch that touchdown. The football goes back to the 21-yard line. See the holding? There it is right here. You can see it right in the middle of your screen. Number 53, Farnsworth was being held. And it's kind of hard to say. We couldn't pick out a number. It was one of the tackles, though. Let's put it that way, because Farnsworth's a defensive end. So the Aztecs have second and goal to go from the 21. Again, the shotgun. The blitz is on. Kofler to the pass. Can't. Runs it. Still looking upfield. Gets across the 20. And then rolled down at the 18-yard line. As Matt was looking for Darius Durham, who was well covered by Darnell Clash, but Chuck Pagano, a safety up to make the tackle on Kofler. He picks up five yards to the 16. Thus, it will be third and goal to go. San Diego State trailing 14-0. Again in the shotgun. Kofler looks downfield. Fires into the end zone. Complete touchdown, Aztec. Darius Durham. Putting a fine move on Darnell Clash. Didn't want to say anything, but made sure there was no flag down there. Get out of the shotgun. That's hitting. He's looking to the right all the way. Now he turns and goes to a secondary receiver. Darius Durham, and there he was, bidding Darnell Clash. Perfectly thrown ball. Boy, that shows me something, because the Aztecs, after the penalty, wiping out the touchdown, come back and get it. So they get on the board, for sure, 14-6. And that touchdown pass to Darius Durham means $100. The Aztec Athletic Foundation from Dave Ball, Paul Oldsmobile. Dave Meyer out of the hold of Jeslin. Kick on its way. It's good. So we got ourselves now a 14-7 ball game. Wyoming leads San Diego State. 12 and a half minutes to play in the third period. Back right after this. Ball game crowd now enthused and up for the kickoff by Dave Meyer. Boots it high to the seven-yard line. Darnell Clash, 15, 20, breaks it away at the 25, and then the Aztecs get to him. Boy, is he elusive. Finally hauled out. San Diego State 15, number one, Darnell Clash, who do it all as far as kick return. Seventh in the nation in punt returns a year ago as a freshman. Now fourth in the nation. 14.8 yards per punt return. He's 12th in the nation in kickoff returns. Second in the whack kickoff returns. First in the whack in punt returns. He returned one punt for a 90-yard touchdown, and he had one of 87 that was called back because of the penalty. Well, for the first time in this half, Wyoming on offense. 14-7 ball game at the 26-yard line. First down, Phil Davis the pass. Fires has a man open. Tight end Williams at the midfield, all the way into Aztec territory to the 42. Tight end, James Williams. At least the line of scrimmage. 31 yards. That play action pass, it throws the cornerback, Earl Hall. There's a good fake into the fullback. Goffigan, Davis just lost it out there. Williams, an exceptional athlete. He's a big 6'3", 190-pound tight end. I mean, 225 pounds had in, let's say. And the Aztec 43-yard line with a first down. And keeping it as Davis, the quarterback, tries to cut in, but quarterback Darrell Hall comes up and levels him as he tried to turn the corner on the short side of the field. Tackle by number 49, Darrell Hall. Well, no gain on the play. Well, now they spot the ball at the 41. The officials vacillate between 44 and 41. Put three yards, it doesn't matter. It's just a deal, Whatever. Deal in approximate. There's a lot of real estate out there, so you just give me a yard or two. So it's a one yard pickup, second down nine, Cowboy. So now it's back to Davis, obviously changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Still long count. Gets it off in time, and then handoff. None. Davis just keeps it himself. Goes across the 40 to the 38 of San Diego State. So about three more yards. He was anticipating blitz by the Aztecs, and they disguised it pretty well because they didn't blitz. They take them out. So wasting a play. That's what it's all about. Who could outguess the other? Giant chess match down there on the field between the two coaches and the players on both ball clubs. Now Wyoming well, looking at a third down and six at the Aztec 38-yard line. 
Michael Davis on third down. Rolls out the pass, fires in the flat, completes it nicely. Martinez at 25, and Dave Kuda finally hauls him down at the 21-yard line. Nice catch by split end Steve Martinez, a good one. Coming off an injury, missing the last two ball games. And he's their leading receiver. He's cut 30 coming into this ball game for 505 yards and three touchdowns. He doesn't have that great speed, but he's very effective when he gets out there on one and one. Now uh, Emery sets up wide to the left as the Cowboys have a first down at the Aztec 21. Davis keeps it himself after faking to the fullback on the dive and he moves straight ahead over right guard down to the 16 yard line. And in so doing, picks up five yards. Tackle made by Brad Williams. Tackle 62 to 30. A junior from Jackson, New Jersey, with help from Bill Fairbrother, the linebacker. Second and five, Wyoming. Look at the Aztec defense. The Cowboys come to the wall. Davis, pitch, rule, hit by the line of scrimmage, right down, Allen Dale penetrating nicely. Junior Allen Dale out of Palomar, J.C. and Escondido. No game. Allen's the leading tackler, had 100 tackles coming into this game, that's assist and unassisted. So he's having a fine season. He'll be back next year for the Aztecs. Aztecs feel they're in good shape at the linebacker position. With Dale returning, Seaball, Fair Brother. They have a couple of youngsters, Jack Eaton from Fallbrook, who's was very impressive, and uh, this Greg, Ron Monaco, a freshman. So they're going to have them. They're going to be pretty strong in that department. Kevin Lowell is in the backfield now. And with that, Wyoming decides to take a timeout for whatever reason. Strange may seem at this straight of the football game, and so they're granted that. 9.33 to go, 14-7. Wyoming Legion will be back right after this. In motion, Ingram. A rule, check that. And here's Davis rolling back on third down. The pass. Pressure drops it out and caught the seven. Missed. And then finally out of bounds is Kevin Lowell. Down at the two-yard line. Bumped out by Alvin Bush. Now they have pressure That's on Phil Davis, but he unloaded. Kevin Lowell. He's out of bounds. Here it is. The rollout. And he just lost it. It is right on the target. Not a real strong pass, but it gets there and gets the job done. Mike Fox knocking him out of bounds, knocking Lowell out of bounds on about the one-yard line. He doesn't drill the ball like Matt does, but somehow the ball gets there and finds the receiver. So our Wyoming big opportunity first and goal at the two-yard line. Give the Goffing and the fullback trying to squirm into the end zone. Aztecs trying to stack him up, and belatedly, the officials call a touchdown. Brad Williams of the Aztecs not happy at all about that, but officials say that Goffigan is in for the touchdown. Fullback Walter Goffigan, a 5'10 sophomore from Virginia Beach, Virginia. That was an interesting drive because we'll take a look at the touchdown here. Goffigan jumps into the air and he rolls in the end zone. The thing is his knee never touched the ground, so what yeah. can you do? He just rolled over the body. What's interesting about the drive, Wyoming the wishbone team, but what actually hurt the Aztecs were three passes. It's true. Well, Tobin to try the extra point as the Cowboys, after giving up a touchdown to the Aztecs, come right back as a good team and get a score. Tobin tacks on the extra point. Now it becomes a 21 to seven football game. Wyoming in front of San Diego State. 9, 23 to play in the third period. Back to action, first and 10. Wyoming, Phil Davis talking to his backfield. Apparently changing the play on first and 10. Boy, a long conversation. And clock running down, but he gets the play off, keeps it himself in options, pitches it out to Charlie Mike is in there now. He's running good for the 40 to the 45-yard line. Charlie Mike, a freshman from Panama City, Florida. Charlie Mike. Gets good yardage. First down, Cowboys. Well, whatever he was changing the play to, it worked. It sure did. Must have saw something in the way the alignment on the Aztecs defense was. He, they pitched. There was nobody around the place. They pick up a 15 yards. Pick up. Got to be Cowboys. something wrong. Cowboys tonight have used seven different running backs. They've all carried, carried the ball. First and 10, Wyoming. The 44. In the wishbone. Davis hit behind the line scrimmage, keeps it himself. Now pitches it out nicely to Kevin Lowe. And Lowe around the corner in Aztec territory. Finally bumped out 
at the 41 of San Diego State. Now there you see the athletic ability of the option and Phil Davis. It takes an exceptional athlete to do this. Waited till the last possible moment to pitch it out. He had that cornerback stuck between a rock and a hard place, and there's not much he could do. He's just going to sit there and go, oh, my God, what do I do now? Now Wyoming changes quarterbacks. Craig Johnson comes in. He's a 6-even, 175-pound junior from Aurora, Colorado. Davis, first down, Cowboys, Aztec 41. Johnson rolls left the pass, fires quickly. Martinez at the 30, one-on-one. -on -one. Darrell Hall moves the ball down inside the Aztec 25-yard line. Craig Johnson, no drop off there. He has thrown 10 completions and 30 pass attempts this year. It's a quick rollout. Just dumps it right off to Martinez. Johnson's supposed to be a better runner. It's a good move by Martinez. Drags a couple of Aztec tacklers with him. They're mixing the plays up pretty good. Johnson's a better runner. He's supposed to be quicker than Davis. On that last play, Davis had that pitch out. I don't know how you could get much quicker than that. Davis is back in there now, directing the attack at the 24-yard line with a first down. Hands off straight ahead. It goes to fullback Walter Goffigan. Bangs down to the 20-yard line. And in so doing, gains five-yard line. And Cowboys continue to move the ball. Martinez tonight has caught five passes for 86 yards and one touchdown. I think Davis came out to change shirts. He had a shirt ripped on that uh, option play. So they brought in a designated passer in uh, Craig Johnson, and he completed it. Second down to five, Cowboys. And off goes Moore, fullback, down to the 10, to the six-yard line. Tackle by Jerome Craney as Doug Moore. First down, Cowboys. That fullback dive right up the middle. Moore finds a little hole. Franey coming from his linebacker spot puts a good pop on him, explodes right into him. That was a fine tackle by Jerome Franey. It's a good run by Doug Moore also. Well, all those Wyoming running backs are all underclassmen. All freshmen or sophomores except for Moore, who's a junior. And the only senior is right there, number 16, Phil Davis. First and goal. Pitch back to Charlie Mike. Charlie Mike fumbles, loose ball, scramble. And I believe the Cowboys retain it. You see a lot of bodies down there. He was hit at the six-yard line. The ball popped out. Rolled back to the eight. Number 77, Gary Crum, the guard, picking it up. Here it is. Good, good tackle. Somebody, Brady knocked it out of his hands. Reached in there and knocked couple, it out. A couple of Aztecs diving for the ball. Here comes Big Crum jumping on it. Amazed he didn't flatten it. It's 6'5", 278 pounds. There was no gain on the well, what ultimately turns out to be no game. You just see John Tisson coming in a running back, a 5'9 freshman. Second down, goal to go at the HR line. Four and a half minutes to play in the half. Cowboys have Emery set out wide left. Little house backfield. Davis back to pass, being chased. Pressure now throws to the end zone, and it is incomplete. Intended for running back John Tisson. Well, Aztecs back there with him. Dave Crudup and Mike Fox doing a good job on coverage. He can't find anybody open. Getting a little pressure from Brad Williams. He throws it up. There's Crudup just gets a finger on it. Mike Fox knocks the receiver out of the way so he can't go after the ball. This will bring up a third down goal to go at the eight yard line. That was the first incompletion that Davis had so far in the second half. So he's been near perfect for the whole team because Johnson came in and completed one. Martinez, that's how wide to the right. We'll go one-on-one -on -one with Dave Crudup. And tight end Williams sets up strong right. Davis rolls out the pass, looks to the end zone. Now being chased, missed. Still being chased, now delivers into the end zone. It is incomplete. Martinez back there at the back of the end zone with Dave Crudup. Aztecs having trouble getting to the elusive Phil Davis, putting pressure on him. But the incomplete pass brings up a fourth down. You see him get chased here by Todd Seaball. Lost his outside contain, and that's a very important thing. Davis throwing on the run, just doesn't have enough on the ball. It comes up a little short. So the Aztecs halt Wyoming, and on comes Tobin to try a field goal. He's 6 for 12 in the field goal department this year. He's kicking from the left hash mark. He is a straight-on kicker, though, not a soccer-style kicker. From the 15, so it'll be a 25-yard attempt. Ball is down. The kick is on its way. It is good. 25-yard field goal by Steve Bill Tobin. Of 25 yards is good for number 14. Oh, Wyoming checks on three more. It's now 24-7. Wyoming leads it. 
We'll be back right after this. This bud's for that first day on the job. This this oh, later. Let's return to the play. First and 10, San Diego State. So San Diego State trailing 24-7 on offense with 36 seconds to go in the third period. Shotgun formation again. Copler, long cloud, and one of the Cowboys might have jumped off. Whistles blow. He bumped into the center, Matt Long. I was wondering if they were going to call it or not. It took him a long time to do it. One of the rare penalties against Wyoming. This game's rather been penalty-free tonight. Right. Richie Fowler, I believe, the man crossing into the neutral zone. Five-yard walk-off against Wyoming. Takes the football to midfield. Here's the indication. So San Diego State now with a first and five. Again, the shot. Shotgun offense. Kofler will put it up. Three-man rush for the Cowboys. He's going long for Phil Smith. And incomplete as he had a win. Darnell flashed to get to it and knock it down. Oh, boy, Phil Smith had really beaten his man. All by himself, just underthrown. Matt just lets it go. He fires it. Smith is so quick, but I, I just think he just outruns the football. Clash just knocks it down. He had him beat by three or four yards. <laughs> I'm sure Darnell Flash, please. Rather embarrassing for cornerback to get beaten. So it brings up a second and five for the Cowboys. Durham to the left, Sampson to the right. Out of the shotgun. Kopler looking downfield. Passes knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Had Sampson on a delay coming over the middle, but defensive line of the Cowboys knocking it down. Brian Howard, 6'1 freshman, he comes out. 27, he just jumped at the line of scrimmage. That's what the teach all defensive line, but if you're being blocked and you can't get to the quarterback, keep those arms up. Just might knock a ball down. That's what happened there. Now the Aztecs, after the penalty, having trouble moving the football, have a third and five. And that now had seven straight incompleted passes. Needs a completion here. He'll put it up again. Completes that one. Bull way of 45 to the 41 yard line of Wyoming and a first down San Diego State. Miliopolis makes it stop. On Bull way up. Nine yards and a first down. He had one on one coverage with Williams and Miliopolis. Bull beats his man. Picks up the first down. So San Diego State keeps the drive alive with the first and 10 at the Wyoming 41 yard line. 10 seconds to play in the quarter. Aztecs trail 24 7. Kofler out of the shotgun. This will be the last play of the period. Matt on first down looks up field, fires as a man open, completes it. At the 22 yard line, tight end Jim Botro. Up by Chuck Pagano, Darnell Clash. First down, San Diego State. For the shotgun, Matt's going down. Botro's just running a straight pattern. He breaks to the outside right in the seam of the zone. The ball is thrown perfectly. Botro makes a nice catch. Big gainer for the Aztecs. And that'll do it for the third quarter of action. And it's 24-7 Wyoming. We'll be back with the fourth period after this. Being a large university allows a wide choice of study but contact with some of the nation's finest teachers makes learning personal. Biologist Mary Eleanor Clark, named Professor of the Year in tough national competition, recognized for her commitment to teaching and involvement in research. She's only one of 2,100 outstanding faculty who take time to care about their students. History, public health, telecommunications, and the performing arts using yesterday and today to understand tomorrow. A campus in the nation's eighth largest city offers students unmatched professional opportunities. It's all part of an environment which prepares students now for what they'll need to know in the future. For at San Diego State University, our today is your tomorrow. Bob Babbage is Ron Rina in this fourth quarter of action brought to you by Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. And by Ball Olds Honda, a lot of cars in National City. We have an interesting stat here on the third quarter that San Diego's thrown the ball for 83 yards, Wyoming for 84. 
stride. Aztecs now with a first and ten at the Cowboy 22-yard line. Again, out of the shotgun. Copeland will put it up. Cowboys are coming, but he delivers over the middle. Smith on a drag. 15 to 10, the five, down to the two-yard line. Bill Smith. Boy, is he happy. Excited trying to get the fans aroused and get some enthusiasm going in the stadium. Just a clear out pattern. They run everybody deep. Get the wide receiver coming across the middle and it opens things up. See Bill trying to crawl in the end zone. Good effort. Try to sneak one in. Well, the Aztecs now knocking on the door. First and goal at the Cowboy one yard line. Just in the way in the fourth period. Bull Williams and Donnie Roberts are the setbacks. Kofler under center. First down. Matt gives to Bull Williams. Looks close to the goal line, but the officials say no. I thought he got his helmet over the plane, but the officials like he, didn't think so. Looked like he broke the plane of the goal line before he was knocked back. We'll see it right here again. It's, Bull's really coming in that line really good. He's hitting it hard, and there he is. He's over the plane of the goal line. So is the ball. You can see it. Boy, it should be a touchdown. They got robbed out of the score. Well, I'll repeat, we do have whack officials. Are you bragging or complaining? Well, I hope you're not bragging. No. This is Rod Gilster here at Yarber into the guards now in a running situation goal line. Rick Foster in there. Inches to go. Give. Bull Williams. Touchdown, Aztecs. No doubt about that one. You got a little fight on the field. Bill Smith and uh, one of the Reggie Fowler, a linebacker, got into it. Doesn't look like uh, the officials caught it, which is good. We'll see it again. It goes Bull. He just jumps up there. He got a little spring in his legs. He got up real high. No one's going to stop him that time. He was determined to get in the end zone. So that touchdown means $100 to the Aztec Athletic Foundation. Booster group of San Diego State Athletics, courtesy of Dave Ball, Ball Osmobile. The touchdown makes it 24-13. On comes Dave Meyer to try to kick the extra point to make it a 10-point game. The Aztecs would only be a touchdown and a field goal away. No, the Aztecs are going to go for two. Kofler calling a play. And wants Butro in there. tight end. There he is. So they'll go for two to try to pull the nine. Right. Field goal will win it. Try a trail now by 11. Sampson wide to the left. Durham to the right. Two-point conversion try by the Aztecs. Kofler tries to pass. Pies end zone. Durham, he gets it. No, he drops it. Oh, boy, Darius Durham. Will not be thrilled when he sees that in the films. Had a shot at it. So the extra point try fails. 13.56 to play in the football game. It's Wyoming, 24. Aztecs 13 back after this. All right, let's take a look again at that two-point conversion try by the Aztecs as Kofler looks to the end zone to Darius Durham on an out pattern. He's open. Well, right on the money. Just, Boy, just didn't out. look it in. Just dropped, went right through it. Couldn't, couldn't throw the ball any better. It was perfect, right on the numbers. In fact, it hit him in the numbers when it went through. So the two-point try fails. We have a 24-13 game. The Aztecs have to score twice, two touchdowns. And he went. Drive with Bull Williams scoring the one-yard touchdown, his second of the year. Now, the penalty apparently was called on the previous touchdown play that Bob Babbage alluded to. 15 yards of necessary roughness, Wyoming. So the Aztecs will kick off from the Cowboy, 45. Meyer to kick off. Class waiting at the three. Meyer tries an outside kick. Loose ball, scramble. And I believe the Wyoming got it, though. Good idea on the part of the Aztecs. Thinking Wyoming may be a little relaxed. They had little to lose. But it was recovered by Doug Moore of Wyoming at the 31-yard line. They only lost really 10 yards because if he would have kicked it, it would have gone in the end zone. They would have had it on a 20. That's why they had a chance of getting the ball back for a quick score. It was a good call. You have to go for it. You're down by four, uh, 11 points. You try to make some breaks for yourself. All right, Wyoming offense on the field now. First down at the 31-yard line. Bill Davis gives the second man through, and he is hammered at the 31-yard line. Peter Rule 
at the Aztec front. And the linebacker's doing a job now. Todd Seaborn, 53. Allen Dale, 51. And Doug Reed, number 60. Doug was the first one to make contact. This is a big series for the Aztec defense. They're going to have to stop them. Last time San Diego State scored a touchdown, Wyoming came back and marched right down on field and got, got it back for them. So they're going to have to stop them here if they want to stay in the ball game. No gain, second down, 10. Bill Davis under center. A snap, a bad snap, loose ball, and it's fought upon way back by Dane Ingram inside the 15. Well, it's just a well, unique snap. When that ball shot out of there, geez. Looks like he was centering for a punt. Center Joe again. Here we go. Look this. Boom. Look, flat out missed it. Look at Davis looking for the ball. Where did he go with that son of a gun? He just shot it right up there. Ingram wisely goes back and falls on it. Joe DiGregorio, the center, 6'7", 244, junior from Levittown, Pennsylvania, who has played guard, tackle, now playing center this year, and a member of the Italian All-America team. Uh-oh, a biggie. Third and 25 from the 16-yard line. Davis, handoff, fumble, picked up, and the hammer for a loss. Zingram at the 11. Kevin Ritchie. Oh, Aztec Sloppy ball handling here by uh, Wyoming last three plays, which is kind of nice to see. There's Kevin making the play. Doug Reed is also back there. So maybe the tide's changing a little. So now the Aztecs will get the ball with good field position as Jack Wheel will punt from the end zone. Taking the fifth time of this ball game. And he gets the kick away. A high dandy. Fair catch called for by Gary Nobles. He takes it in at the 45-yard line. Nice punt by Will when he needed it. 43 yards. So the Aztecs do get the football with good field position. First and 10 at their own 46-yard line. They trail by 11. 11.56 to play in the football game. Don't forget Aztec basketball starting. Smokey games is through just four weeks. Aztec season tickets on sale now. San Diego State Aztec ticket office. Aztec basketball team, one of the favorites in the WAC this year, along with Wyoming. First and 10 now for the football team at the 46-yard line. Shotgun. Dallas moves up to a wing. Everybody moves, but Matt Long flags down. Forgot to come. A tough way to start a series. Instead of first and 10, first and 15. A five-yard walk-up. Keep the ball back to the 41. So now, first and 15, San Diego State. Wyoming's in their nickel defense to take out one of their defensive linemen, brought in another back. All right, Coulter, we'll put it up. He's pressured. Steps out of now, dumps it off. Ellis. 43, 45, and then goes across the 45 to the 46-yard line. And hold down there for what will be a five-yard gain. And making up the yardage from the penalty. Wyoming blitzing. Matt steps up, dumps it off to Ellis. Now he's hemmed in there by two Wyoming tacklers and picks up the five yards they lost on that penalty. So it'll be second down 10, San Diego State. As it needs some quick scores. Darius Durham sits out wide right. Clinton Sampson to the left. Again, out of the shotgun. Kopler, back to pass. It's a three-man rush. Fires over the middle. It is Durham as he came out on a drag route. Caught the ball, then fumbled, but I believe he was down. I don't think they'll call it a fumble as he was tackled to the 48-yard line and then fumbled the ball. It's a short game. Up five. Matt reading once again that Wyoming's in their nickel defense taking away the medium and long range passes. He just dumps it off to the back. You get five yards of crack, three times five is 15. That's an easy first down. My books. Now he's got a third and six now. He tried to dump it under the coverage, but the Cowboys handled it. Third down, San Diego State from the 49 yard line. Shotgun one more time. Kobler against the three-man rush, fires up field. Smith has it, and then he drops the ball at the 31-yard line. Bill Smith had a shot at it, but couldn't hold it. Going with Lee Mitchell. Now Aztecs have had 
couple of balls dropped. Could have been a big play. So, fourth down. And after the defense played very well, offense un unable to move the ball, has to punt it. Fifth punt coming up for Mike Jeslin, third in this half. The Cowboys send no one back. It's safety position they want to protect against uh, another run by Jeslin. Fourth down here, but Mike will kick it away. My kick that bounds at the 10, and it'll be down inside the 10 at the nine yard line. That's a 41 yard punt, a dandy by Jeslin. Of course, nobody back for Wyoming. Thus, it remains 24 13. Cowboys with 10 10 to play in a ball game. We'll be back after this. Bill Davis under center. Keeps it himself, trying to run out of there, changes directions and does a nice job and then finally hauled down at the 12 yard line it looked like they had him hemmed in and he just flip flopped the other Jerome way Davis. Jerome Franey making the stop Todd Seabaugh stopped him he was trying to run the option and Seabaugh was coming in from his linebacker Eight, spot ran right smack into his face and turned around and reversed his position Franey holding back at home just like a good linebacker he's taking care of his responsibilities making the play Gain of three, second down seven. Cowboys from their own 12. Davis this time. Pitches it back to low. Trying to shoot to the right. Make that rule at the 10 yard line. Dump. Ceremoniously. Quarterback Dave Crudup came up nicely. He saw the play unfolding for the wide side of the field. Watch Crudup come up from his quarterback position. He does a great job fighting off a block right here by number 39 Ingram. Coming in and making a fine tackle on roll. A good play by Dave Cuda. All right, David, 5'9", 185, junior out of Los Angeles, transfer from Ventura, J.C. What a one-yard pickup to the Cowboys now at third and six. As Emery sets out wide right to the short side of the field. In motion is Ingram. Davis rolls left to pass, looks up field, fires, and completes it to the tight end. Williams still running and goes to the 30, and a ball stolen away by Mike Fox. Of the Aztecs, he just stole it cleanly. Smart play by Mike Fox. They have two guys on Williams, and he just steals the ball. That's what the Aztec defense had to do. They had to make something happen. Take another look at it. He just dumps it off into Williams. Takes a good shot here by Alvin Bush. And then here comes Fox. He's just wrestling the ball away from him. He's out wrestling. Oh, yeah. Just took it right away. All right, Mike Fox. A steal. What do they call that? An interception? A fumble? Well, I don't know, but boy, it's something you don't see very often. Teams fight into it, especially late in the game. So Fox creates the big turnover. He has to cut the ball in a sensational position. 28-yard line of Wyoming. Officials trying to question as to whether what we discuss is that grass or is this the 28-yard line? Is that the right ball? Or a high-level conference there. Oh, they change balls, okay. At the 28-yard line, first and 10 Aztec, they trail by 11. A touchdown here pulls them within seven. Third turnover of the night. Wyoming. Bill Smith in motion left. Out of the shotgun. Copler will put it up. Matt, under pressure now, is going to run it. Trying to get outside at the 30. Breaks one tackle, but can't break another. It's coming up quickly with Mike Davis to bump him out of bounds from the Aztec bench at the 30-yard line. Matt had a lot of time, but Wyoming defense did a good job in covering the receivers. Saw a little opening and took off to Mike Davis coming up from the safety spot, forcing him out of bounds. Lost him five yards. Copler tonight, 20 for 39, 260 yards. One touchdown, he's been intercepted twice. Eight and a half minutes to play in the football game. Durham to the left, Sampson, or Durham to the right, Sampson to the left. Copeland goes under center this time. Matt back to pass anyway. Sets up, now he's gonna be sacked and fumbles the ball, but it's scramble, loose ball. Jerry Stabline, a tackle, go for it to the one of the Cowboys. They're going to blow the whistle dead on Copler. Pat Rulon pressuring for Wyoming along with Rick Farnsworth. The umpire. And it is Jerry Stabline, a senior of the Fountain Valley. 
Blitzing linebacker number 48. Mulan. Making the play, forcing the fumble. Well, the Aztecs lose some more yardage back to the 36 yard line. Now they have a third and 19. They have a great opportunity to try to take advantage of after the steal by Mike Fox. Third down and 18, though. 7.54 to play in the game. Copler out of the shotgun, back to pass. Now pressure rolling left, looking for somebody in the end zone, in trouble, and can't unload the ball. Wyoming does a fine job. Jim Eliopoulos making the stop. They only had a three-man rush. But the Aztecs still couldn't hold them out. Stopping back eight men to take away the passing routes of the Aztec receivers. Matt has nowhere to go. Eliopoulos coming in, making the sack. He had six last week, and he's got one tonight. He's also their leading tackler. He's having an outstanding season. His final one at Wyoming. The Cowboys dropping eight people off to fill up the passing lanes and creating problems for Kopler as Jeblin on fourth down will have to punt the ball. He's running out, wants to pass it. Now he's going to kick it and boots it to the end zone. It bounds at the five and goes into the end zone. I think Jeslin wanted to pass the ball to somebody, but seeing nobody open, ultimately well, kicked it. 43 yard kick. So the uh, Wyoming dodges a bullet there after Mike Fox stole the ball from tight end Williams. But still, 24 13. We'll be back right after this. The action Wyoming Cowboys have the ball. First down, 31 yard line for the Wyoming Cowboys. Bill Davis, pull back again. Straight ahead dive, Doug Moore. It's a yard or two, and that's about all. Cowboys, obviously, now would just be happy to run the clock out, get out of here with a victory, stay alive in the whack race. That was a tough break for Steve because he worked so hard this year. He wanted to make his final season with the Aztecs a very memorable one. And he's playing ball very well this year. And unfortunate thing that happens, but luckily he hasn't hurt any serious, any more seriously than he was. Second down eight, Wyoming. Bill Davis. On the option, back to pass, hit, miss, the hit again, and then they get to him as they drop him back at the 28-yard line. Quarterback Phil Davis, Doug Reed got in there, Alvin Bush looks to be hurt. I think Alvin hit that broken hand again, and he did a little somersault there in pain. Brainy coming in from his linebacker spot. Let's think it's a hold of him. We'll see Alvin Bush coming in here. There he goes, and the quarterback fell on his hand, and there's nothing worse than falling yeah, on that and broken and hand. big Doug Reed fell on top of him. Right, that yeah, smarts a little. All right, back to play. I was going to say of the uh, WAC members, two of the leaders won today, Hawaii and uh, BYU. Utah tied, Hawaii trying to stay alive in the race. Third down and long. Ingram in motion. Davis on third down. Takes the draw. Back to pass. Pressure does it. Knocked away. Then finally is sacked by the Aztecs back at the 23-yard line. Jerome Franey doing a job again. Along well, with Kevin Ritchie in there, but Doug Reed is the one that really made the play happen. He came coming in from his end position, put his hand on uh, Bill Smith's arm and almost knocked the ball out of there until Davis's arm, I'm sorry. And uh, that gave uh, Franey and Kevin Ritchie time to get in there to get the sack. So fourth down, wheel the punt from the 10 yard line, double safeties for the Aztecs. And, oh, he's coming in there, almost blocked, he's going to run it at the 25, at the 30, he breaks the tackle at the 35, then he fumbles the ball at the 40-yard line, and San Diego State recovers. Oh, boy, that looked to be a terrible situation, it turned out to be very good for the Aztecs. Number 40, Mark Coleman. But this wasn't by design, he wanted to punt the ball, but he was pressured, there was nothing, he had to get out of there, then he was stuck. Saw a little opening. Great to tackle there by Coleman, number 40. Tackle and Darrell Hall. Darrell Hall. Hall. And then Coleman recovers the ball. Aztecs with the ball now at the 40 of Wyoming. Out of the shotgun. Can he pull this one out? 4-0-1 to play. Copler to pass. Sets up. Hits one of his own men. Runs out of there now. Fires the ball. Completes it. Durham. And Darius takes it down to the 25-yard line. For 15 yards in the first down in front of Darnell Flash. So Matt completes one. If the Essex down inside the 25 to the 24 of Wyoming. Head back, he runs into number 68, Kevin Howell, who's trying to help him out. That's Darius open in between that zone. 
Drills it right in there. Trying to get a block there by number 18, Craig Ellison, downfield blocking. To help out his teammate. First and 10, San Diego State. Out of the shotgun. Wolfner will put it up again. Four-man blitz. And he fires a pass. Ellis. Ellis, though, in heavy traffic, can't get any running room at the 24-yard line. Tackled by Steve Nicewalker. The goal will be a gain of about one yard at the most. Right. So he's right at the line of scrimmage, as a matter of fact. The clock moves with 3.16 to go. The Essex better get going. Jessup checks in a tight end for Boutro. Coulter tonight, 22 for 41, 276 yards. Durham to the right, Smith to the left. Again out of the shotgun, Coulter will put it up. Going to the end zone for Smith, and it's intercepted by Sally at the 5. Back up to the 10, 15, the 20, gets a couple of blocks, still running, and breaks it in at the 40. And finally a flag down. He tried to lateral the ball, but the Aztec dog gets to him at the 44-yard line, but there is a penalty flag way back at about the 25-yard line. Looks to be flipping, though, against Wyoming. Chuck Pagano. That throwing the ball to the corner to Phil Smith. Sally just jumps right in front of him. Sally to find free safety. There was some talk, I was talking to some of the coaches from Wyoming before the game, and they feel that he is probably one of the best, if not the best, free safety in the uh, WAC conference this year. Had a good, good season. So Matt Copler intercepted for the third time tonight. Once another drive as the Aztecs had come up with a fumble and had a, for the second time in this quarter, beautiful opportunities inside Wyoming territory and can't take advantage of it. Again, the turnovers are just hurting the Aztecs. Walk off following clipping penalty. Moves the football back to the 17 yard line. So after all is said and done, Wyoming has the ball again, leading 24 13. 241 to play in the football game. Quarterback Bill Davis under center. Goes off the second back through Rule, finds a hole over right tackle, and bangs across the 25 to the 26 yard line. Ball down by Doug Reed. Picks up eight yards, nine yards. Well, he's had a long football history and turned out some good people like Jim Kick, Aaron Kyle, Ken Fantetti, uh, Troy Lyon, Guy Frazier, Conrad Dobler, Conrad Dobler, Lawrence Gaines, receiver, Vic Washington, the running back, Ron Billingsley, the beast. Chargers for a while, yes. I saw the beast today as a fact. He's still living in San Diego. San Diego, yes. All former Wyoming Cowboys. Second down, one now for this year's version. Two and a half to play in the football game. Davis looking at the scoreboard clock, taking a lot of time. Long count. And now he hands off, second man through. There's Rule. Rule, good running room, takes it across the 35 to the 36. Has a first down for Wyoming. Just running their basic plays, they're leading the fullback and giving it to the second back. It's just the lead play, isolation on the linebacker. They have a fine runner and rule. A very effective play for him. Ball control. He carried 15 times for 85 yards. To the rule is a 5'11 sophomore. In fact, Wyoming has 10 seniors on this squad, so this group will be back. Other than Phil Davis, the quarterback. They got a first down now at their own 36 yard line, trying to run the clock out with a bit. 53 to go. Took away their seventh victory of the year and fifth in the league. Davis pitches back to Mike to Charlie Mike, and Mike, sweeping around the left end, takes the ball to the 40-yard line. Right down by Mike Fox, and was he out of bounds? Or are the Aztecs calling a timeout? Second down and six for Wyoming. Cowboys at their own 40-yard line. Senior quarterback, Bill Davis. First down, hands off straight ahead. Doug Moore, the fullback. Doug gets a couple yards. The Essex tonight trying to hold a three-game losing streak, but they won't do so against Wyoming, who appears to be on their way to victory number seven on the year. Rich Moran. Rich Moran is truly a guard. He's a sophomore. He's playing backup center this year. Moran's father was an outstanding guard also in college football in Idaho. Howell told me he played some guard in J.C., but that was a beer offense. A little different than this type of offense. But third down and three for Wyoming. Davis will put it up on third down. 
Now fires a field. It is caught by the tight end Williams in heavy traffic. Nice catch by James Williams on a floating pass at the 44-yard line. But the Aztecs might intercept. Couldn't get to it. And one Aztec is down after that collision. Present called by Davis. I thought they tried to run the clock out. He just floats the ball. He throws everything off his back foot. There comes Crudup coming in there, gives him a good shot. And I think that's what uh, Mike Fox took most of the brunt from. As Wyoming will remain in the hunt. Minute 13 to play, clock moving. Davis on first down after Mike Fox is okay and off the field. Quarterback Phil Davis. Long count. Just run that clock down. And does. Broken play, he's running out of there himself, being chased. Got Aztecs after him, Motley Joan Franey. Now he runs backwards to the 43-yard line, looking for a block. Going to go some more, and he finally says, enough of this, and is hammered down. Steve Allman, ripping the shirt off his back. Those little tearaway jerseys, which will be outlawed at the end of this season, so we won't see any more of that after this. Missed his back. Somebody made, blew an assignment. Now he's running around. Morgan. Trying to get outside, sees nowhere to go. All he sees is black shirt. Black shirt, and here comes Allman just ripping that shirt right off. <laughs> It's a souvenir. He's a Wyoming jersey. Well, they won't have that problem anymore. Next year, they are through with football. No more tearaways. I imagine the equipment managers around the country are pleased about that. They have to carry 8,000 jerseys for every guy. Probably carry two dozen for every running back in case they get whipped up, especially in Wishbone. They carry the ball so many times. So we're only 44 seconds away from tucking this game away in the history. This is the fourth meeting between the two schools. Aztecs won the opener here a couple of years ago. Or, the, or rather, two years ago won here, but Wyoming won last year at Laramie. 34-9, won two years ago at Laramie, 31-22. Got ready to win this one also. Now Johnson is the quarterback. He keeps it himself, ducks in, goes for a couple of yards, the 44-yard line. Todd Seabody on the tackle. 36 seconds and counting. This is about Johnson looks over the back. So Wyoming is about to run the clock out. Move the Cowboys record to seven and two overall. Five and one in the whack. Aztecs will fall to four and four on the year. And two and four in the whack. 14 seconds to play. This ought to be the last play of the football game. Charlie Mike in motion left. Johnson straight ahead. Hand off Doug Moore to pull back to the 48 yard line. Tripped up. That'll do it. Two seconds. Left. There it is. So. University of Wyoming Cowboys spoil the Aztecs homecoming as they defeat San Diego State on a 30,000 plus fans. Final score was Wyoming 24, San Diego State 13. For Jan Chapman and Bill Chestnut and Bob Babbage and Ron Rita. The victims of evil melt before your very eyes tonight at 6 in The Devil's Reign, starring Ernest Borgnine. Seize him!